Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2008 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Leon Tedder. Accepting this award in Leon's place will be his son, Gary Tedder, and presenting the award to Gary is Class of 2006 Hall of Fame li Lifetime Recipient, Mr. Mike Stricker. Correction, presenting Mr. Larry Morgan. Leon Tedder was a true wrestling pioneer. He was a four-year letterman at Oklahoma State University from 1947 through 1950. While there, Leon was a member for the Cowboys, which they were 35-0 in dual meets, winning two NC2A team championships. In Leon's senior year, he had a winning record and no points were ever scored on him by opponents going into the NC2As. However, in practice, a week prior to the NC2As, Leon sustained an injury with separated ribs and was unable to participate. Two years later, in 1952, Leon coached the wrestling at, in Texas at Cal Farley's Boys Ranch, where he coached for three years. Then he moved to California, where he coached wrestling at the high school level and do well. Leon started his high school coaching at East Bakersfield High School in 1960. His teams were the powerhouse of the South Yosemite League and Central Section. While there at East High and coaching for 15 years, he was known as one of the finest technician coaches in the Central Section. He had coached 11 CIF individual wrestling champions. In 1960 and 1968, Leon's teams placed second in the Central Section. Then in 1961 and 1962, he coached the first CIF wrestling championship teams to come out of the Bakersfield area. They were the back-to-back -back Central Section champions. In addition, Leon officiated wrestling for most of the major high school and college wrestling competitions for 25 years. He was inducted in the Kern County Officials Association Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Leon Tedder. Thanks. Uh, my dad is here in spirit. He, um, he loved to be around people like yourselves, other athletes. Uh, I brought as my presenter a young man named Larry Morgan, who was one of my dad's favorite students and favorite wrestlers. And I remember the first day I met Larry, I think I was about seventh grade, and he was sixth grade. And my dad's way of, an, of an introducing me to people was having me wrestle them. <laughs> and so so we, we started wrestling, and about a minute later, I must have hit him too hard behind the head or something, and he started throwing haymakers. And so he turned into a boxing match, and about two minutes later, some people pulled him off of me. <laughs> and so, so that was my introduction to my presenter, Larry. A, he doesn't look very fierce, but he is. Um, the main thing about my father that I remember ever since I was really young was he just loved to be around other athletes and, and especially kids. And I think the most important thing about wrestling to him was he considered it um, like a, a passage to becoming a man. He, um, he wouldn't let me play basketball, for instance. That was considered a wussy sport, so, <laughs> so I was forced to be a wrestler. But it, it, I understood after I got into wrestling what he meant is, is um, <clears throat> you learn how to channel your anger and control your emotions and focus your your strength on, on an outcome. And uh, that helps you a lot through life later. Helps you through car wrecks too. And, and then uh, the main thing he, he pushed was technique and how to outsmart your opponent rather than outmuscle them. Because he always said there was a bigger gorilla around the next corner, so he thought it was real important that you, you outsmart the guy. And then um, the other thing, though, he just loved to be around kids. And so wrestling was a way of, of him being like a, a pseudo father to a bunch of children. And, and that was really the real joy he got out of it. And then when he retired, he felt like it was really important to let some other guy have a chance. So he retired from coaching and became a referee. And I think he enjoyed that just as much because he got to intermingle more with other coaches and other athletes without thinking of them as competitors. And so it was more of a friendly confrontation. And um, the other thing that I think was really important was he taught his students um, not to quit, and especially not to quit before he even wrestled the match. And I, I remember there was an incident where I learned that lesson the hard way. I was looking across the mat at this guy that looked like a gorilla, and 
I didn't look like a gorilla. I was a real skinny little thing, and, and uh, I thought it was really unfair I had to wrestle this guy. He looked like, literally like an ape. <laughs> and and so, so my dad looked at me and he said, you've already lost the match, haven't you? And I said, I said well, yeah, that guy's going to kill me. <laughs> and, so, and he said, um, if you don't kill him, I'll kill you. So, <laughs> so, I went out and killed the guy. <laughs> so, but that was, that was it. He, he, he didn't care if you lost as long as you put 100% into it. And that, that, was, um, that was probably the thing I think all of us got out of the sport was you, you give it all you have and you, you do the best you can. And with that, I'll end it, end it early. I think I got a little bit of time left, but I'll, I'll quit.